Hi there, welcome back to the next video and in this video I want to show you a couple of more interesting things related to the set analysis that uh, you can perform uh, with the help of previously explained concepts. Alright, so I will play around with this sum of sales so that we can continue our journey with this expression. So um, what I'll do is I will just remove this from the modifiers these are set modifiers as you remember from my previous video and uh, what I will do is simply say ship mode all right it is not coming ship if I go down press tab ship mode and now if you remember I was just specifying only the one value at a time but there is no restriction so you should be fine if you are specifying two values for example in single quotes regular air and uh, express air so if you have just observed that i had used the double quotes but then changed it to single quotes why because when we have to do some sort of a searching which i will show you in a couple of minutes when you have to do searching you use the double quotes but when you have to use the exact string like this regular air or express air you use the single quotes all right so now it will show me the sales only related to those orders which have been shipped with the regular air or express air so apply and the value is 8.69 million put next now uh, what i want is I do not want to take the ship mode selection into the consideration so for example if I have in the front end the ship mode selection but for some specific reason of a specific report I don't want or for any particular chart I don't want ship mode to impact it apply done so if I just go and click on ship mode if you see nothing is changing over here right whatever I will do over here in the ship mode for this particular calculation it will not change whereas everything else will change if you observe right so let this will not change and this is not changing because we are specifying nothing ship mode equals to and I have just left it like this so if this is what you need that you want to eliminate the impact of a particular filter from the dash from a particular uh, chart then you can just go into its expression and specify like this the third thing i will show you is the use of wildcard character for example star so let's say i want to have the ship mode of everything that is ending with air so I will say in double quotes star air that means regular air express air or if there is anything else this is very helpful in those scenarios like products information you have hundreds of different products and suppose some product is starting from uh, furniture or having a particular type like uh, starting with the letter A or ending with some particular letter so you can always uh, you know use this and I will talk a little bit more about uh, wildcard characters in a different video but I just wanted to show you in this video about how you can even specify uh, the like this and do the wildcard search so right now it has given me zero which is a bit strange so let me quickly search the ship mode is equals to air star all right so yeah one quick thing uh, so here we are doing a searching right with the help of a wildcard and I mentioned that for our searching you have to specify double code so mistakenly by mistake I specified only the single code which is for the exact string so if I click apply now and now I get 8.69 million absolute so this is um, you can see that sometimes uh, when it not it is not giving you the result as per expectation you have to just brainstorm around what you have done incorrectly so a good good that it has come up because that's a common mistake that even everybody keeps making um, when I, even if they are experienced enough so uh, these are few of the things I wanted to show you in this video and uh, I will meet you in the new video the new topic